Nikita Sherbak. Yeah, you remember him? I kind of do too. It's very, very interesting just taking a look at what exactly it is Sherbak has been saying about the Canadians and the Los Angeles Kings. This is what Igor Iranko posted onto Twitter yesterday. Talks about Nikita Sherbak and what he said in an interview with Daria Tabolseva. And it's kind of an interesting thing here, because if you're a Habs fan, if you're a Kings fan, I'm pretty sure you've known what's going on with Sherbak throughout the past few years. He was with the Habs, he was with the Laval Rocket, then he got traded to LA, and he was with the Ontario Reign in the AHL, and then he left and went to the KHL, is now preparing for a 2019-20 season with the Avangard Omsk. And this interview, the quotes were shared by Igor Aronko. This is what Sherbak said about the Kings. When I was put into the third line in the LA Kings AHL team while they played a tough guy defenseman on the second line, I realized I needed to leave because the Kings clearly weren't interested in me and the coach's system was awful. Now, if that's... Literally what happened, I can understand how you could take that specific point and say, yeah, there's an enforcer defenseman on the second forward line and I'm on the third line. That just means that they don't care about my development and they don't want me to succeed. But at the same time, who knows, that could potentially just be a straw man saying, yeah, there's this one aspect of the team that I didn't like, therefore they don't care about my development. Either way, I don't personally know how beneficial it is to start smack-talking the last NHL organization you were ever with, especially as a 23-year-old guy who's definitely got some time to still develop. But alas, let's go over onto what Sherbak said about the Habs. More Sherbak on Russians in Montreal and why there aren't any left. We were not allowed to speak Russian in the Habs dressing room while many guys spoke French even if Markov and Emlin tried to help me. And there were some strange moments with Bergevin. And this is kind of weird, because when I first read this, the immediate thing that came to my mind was, okay, what about Alexander Romanov? Some of the guys who can speak Russian that have been on the Canadians in the past, it's not like they were all shipped away because we didn't like Russians. Radulov and Markov left in free agency, Emlin left in the expansion draft because he was chosen by Vegas to get picked off of the team. Nesterov wasn't really good, neither was Sherbak. Gonchar wasn't good either, Semin wasn't good, Galchenyuk was swapped for Domi, and Sergachev was traded for Druan. And the latter two are very effective players. So I don't understand how... You could look at this and say, oh yeah, the Habs hate Russians because they don't allow them to speak Russian in the locker room? And at the same time, when it comes to the French thing, like, okay, they're speaking French. Well, it's Quebec. French is an official language of Canada. It's not like every single person in the locker room is speaking French and Sherbak is the only guy who's not able to do so. Because there's no way they don't speak English, too. And I didn't realize that I'd actually have to make a video one day where I was talking about the differences between French and English in the Habs locker room because one guy said that he didn't like it. And one guy was out here saying, yeah, they didn't allow us to speak Russian. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like that on other teams. They wouldn't want it to become cliquey. They wouldn't want all the Russian guys just banding all together, and even so, that's not necessarily something that I can sit here and say, yeah, okay, ban all the Russians. Ban everybody speaking Russian in the lobby here. I didn't think that that's something that was that big of a deal, because it's like, okay, you can still speak English, you can still understand, and Sherbak, he just wasn't good, period. There's a reason he got traded away to L.A., and there's a reason why he wasn't necessarily used to the best of his development, I guess, with the Ontario Reign and all that. So, just to call out the Habs for saying, yeah, you know, 
They hate Russians. They don't allow us to speak Russian in the locker room. I mean, I don't really see the point in that. I don't see what benefit comes out of thrashing what the Habs have in their locker room. So, I want to hear what you think, because this is... This is kind of weird, dude. Ah, really, really is. Hope you enjoyed this video, so this is Ashrusta 9 and bye.